And uh, I'm sure they're hoping for a smooth game. Here's the Heidel High starting lineup. Tajar Lee in goal. They have a back four. Joe God, Michael Forbes, Gabriel Seaborn, Darren Campbell. Four in the middle of the park. Kellen Smith, Ronaldo Barrett, Keanu Jackson, Dante Stewart, and to up top, Deshaun Henry and Omario Henry. Yeah, Heidel, as you said, looking for a second appearance in the finals. And they have a team that they certainly believe in and a team that can challenge Kingston College. Of course, Heidel coached by Devon Anderson. But we go now to the lineup for Kingston College in goal, Malik Williams. A back four for Robert Sow, O'Neill Bryan, Rajay Zimenez, Kimani Reese. Three in the middle of the park, Dijon Green, Jaheim McLean, Alex Hislop. Up top, Damara Daly, the 14 goal man. Deshaun Byfield and Demain Smith. They're coached by Vassa Reynolds. Yeah, we're a team that has. Still two, Kingston College two. Here's the full time highlights. Heidel started well, and what a start they had through Keanu Jackson firing home after three minutes. Had space. Robert Xiao on sight in the keeper. Malik Williams, and it was a beautiful goal for the number 10. They had early joined it, Heidel. They were seeing glory at that moment. They continued to show great quality. Smith here. Forcing Malik Williams to shuffle wide. Another great opportunity to look at the stake from Omario Henry and look at the shot. Malik Williams would have been beaten by all accounts had that been on target. It went over the top. Kingston College would have their own moments in the first half. Daly, the 14 goal man trying for glory there, flashed it wide. Heidel though. It was all of them in the half number one. And Omario Henry, look at this maze, turning, firing with fury, bang on target. The number 14 for Heidel, showing why he's on the park to score belters. Oh, what a strike, it looks good in every angle. The shouts from the Heidel Massive. Kingston College had this header from Brian. Saved by Barrett. Also had a skier at Kingston College. This now in the second half. Their hope would come as the kick from behind wasn't dealt with properly from Gordon Demain Smith firing up the Kingston College supporters after he fired home only his third this season but perhaps one of the most important goals of his schoolboy football career Demain Smith the number two take a bow here's the second goal what a pass it was into the half space Alex Hislop slotting it home to the far triangle a beautiful pass what vision did Dijon Green show there to Jari Lee frustrated jubilant for Kingston College Purple Nation they had this attempt high from McLean and it was really a Kingston College second half that was the end of the 90 minutes Here, the full time match statistics five on target from Heidel from 17 tries, four on target from 15 tries for Kingston College, six fouls apiece, a yellow card apiece, one offside from Kingston College, 10 corners, six to Heidel, three saves made by Malik Williams, two made by Tajari Lee. Kingston College 55% of the possession level after 90 minutes. We go to the dreaded penalties. Well, Mona. South started well for Kingston College. Tajari Lee didn't have a chance there. So did Barrett for Heidel. Malik Williams. Reese, he missed. That's where we turned. 
Tajari Lee had a mouthful as well. <laughs> Nervous moments. As the final kick from Joe McGordon that sealed the deal for Heidel. Sending them and Devon Anderson in the Manning Cup final. It all happened here, do I, Jeremiah? We go now to Gerard Morisili. He has the MVP of this encounter. Yeah, the Man of the Match award being presented by Caden Webley, the junior brand manager at Digicel. Thank you so much, Caden. Uh, let's have a chat with the Man of the Match. Talk to me about that second goal to go 2-0 up. Uh, what was going through your mind and how did you score it like that from that angle? Well, well, I just... Natural rubber and talent. Not training, practice. Coach say, yeah, we got this way, man. Me. Um, yeah, tell me about coming into this game against Kingston College. What was your mindset like? Well, this, we don't want the rematch. Kind of personal to me. Because what they do, so our three players sanction them. So they cannot play. We had to do this for them, our coach. So we come out and say, we are fight hard. Personal, take this one. Yeah, into the final now against a, a team just as aggressive as Heidel High. How prepared are you for that one? Well, we just go back to the giant board, training, work hard, work with the coach's instructions, come out and fight again for the title. All right, well, we'll see you in the final. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Yeah, let's have a chat now with the coach of Heidel High, Devon Anderson. Yeah, we'll have a chat with him very shortly and first is talk to Vasso Reynolds, coach from Kingston College. Coach Reynolds, uh, tell me about this game. You're able to pull it back and take it to penalties, but if you look at how the overall game went, what would you have changed? Um, we started a little bit too slow. I mean, we, we have sp spoken about it. We have been conceding goals the first five, ten minutes in a couple of games, and that we, we were aware of that, and um, we were guarding against that. It happened again in the first in the first um, in the fourth minute of the game, um, um, never recovered quite well, um, and then we went down two 0 against a very good team, an experienced team. But we got back the boys together after time break, and um, we spoke to them, we encouraged them. Um, I think we went back out on the field with a little bit more commitment, um, and dominated the second half and got back two goals. Penalty, it was it was always going to be difficult. The fact of the matter is that. The ideal goalkeeper is a former Kingston College goalkeeper, and so he kind of, kind of was kind of aware of, you know, where some of these guys will have placed their penalty kicks. But it was a good game. I mean, um, I'm proud of the boys to have gone on two, two nil down and came back to all and took it to the penalty. But I, I think we, we we deserve something from the game. Yeah, coach, I can't let you leave without explaining to us exactly how Kingston College were able to get this far. Your two group of deaths two groups of death, you got out of them, then you made your way into this semi-final. What was the secret behind Case of College? It's a, it's a matter of hard work and commitment. Um, the, 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 boys, the boys believed in what we were trying to do. Um, we're still in the rebuilding process. Um, you know, we're still in the infancy stage. But the boys would have shown a lot of improvement game by game, week by week. Um, I just saw the second half today, you know, we continue to improve. Um, we have another a shot at another title. We have the semifinals in the Champions Cup. Let's hope that that growth will continue into Tuesday's game. All right, Coach. Well, we'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah, Thank man. you Thanks so much. much. Yeah, Coach from Kingston College here, Vassar Reynolds, who now passes by Coach Anderson and has a, a, a greeting with him. Coach Anderson, Heidel High into the final of the Manning Cup. How do you feel about that? Heidel High into yeah. the Manning Cup final. How do you feel about that? Words cannot express my feelings. You know, we have, well, as one spectator said, Coach, I've been knocking on the door for years. It's not open yet, but it's cracked. You know, we intend to open it. You know, this is a very special day for the Idle family and all my supporters over the years. You know, once we, once this game played at Sabina Park, I never, I never have any fear. Once it comes down to penalty, the only thing come back to me is 2014 against CC, the knockout game. And, you know, I, once it's that goal again, pff, far gone conclusion. Yeah, Coach, talk to me about your boys, though. This team looks really put together. It looks like they are mature enough in the, the way that they play. Just how good are, this, are these boys on this team? These kids are for real. As what I said to them before we leave, I said, guys, I'll go to war with you guys anytime, anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I mean, not a lot of people give us a chance, but I believe in them. 
and they believe in what we are doing. And hence that, we are here in the final. Yeah, Coach. Mona High having a final. What do you know about them? We know that Mona is a very good team. You know, Idel will come out here and do what Idel has been doing for all season. Work hard. Grind it out, you know? Yeah, Coach.